Passing is the first contact, the foundation of the offense. It all starts here. The quality of the pass affects the quality of your team's offense. Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Chris Marlowe along with Olympic gold medalist Misty May. We're here to teach you the proper form for service return passing. Once you have the form, we'll take it to the next level and learn how to react to and pass different types of serves. Misty, why is good passing so important for a volleyball team? Well, Chris, a good pass can lead to a great offense, whereas a bad pass makes attacking a lot more difficult. As a passer, I like to lead my setter closer to the net and give her a lot of options. Finally, though, it all comes down to good body position and footwork. Yes, body position, put that ball on the money. Now, don't forget that here on Sports School, you can use your remote to stop pause, rewind, or fast forward any of the training techniques that we're demonstrating. This means you are in total control. You can learn at your own pace. The keys to being a good passer are one, body position, and two, footwork. The body position for passing is you want all the flexion to come through your ankles. If you're on the right side of the court, your right foot should slightly be in front, left side of the court, left foot slightly in front. This is gonna allow your hips to stay neutral to the center of the court. I'm gonna start with my right foot forward. Knees are bent, knees over the toes, shoulders in front of the knees. I'm leaning forward, my hand position, my arms are relaxed, but on contact. I'm gonna get my arms out in front of me, forming a nice solid platform, shoulders slightly shrugged, hand position. There's many variations. As long as the heels of your hands are together, you're gonna to be fine. Some people will take their left hand, right hand, lay it right in there, curl it down, make a platform. Some will interlock their fingers. As long as the heels of your hands are together, it'll form a nice platform. I prefer, I make a fist with my right hand and I grab it with my left, making sure my thumbs are even. Again, the heels of my hands are together. Nice solid platform platform shouldn't move. This platform is a backboard. Again, body position, arms out in front of me, about a 50 degree angle. Feet, very important. In order to pass a good ball, the serve isn't always gonna make it exactly to where you're standing. You might have to move a little. Whether you shuffle forward, backwards, side to side, as long as you get there, if my arms aren't in front of me, the ball should hit me at thigh height. So you wanna constantly keep your feet moving to get in the best position and have your hips facing the target. Misty May is considered the best passer in the sport of volleyball. If you wanna pass like her, learn these drills. First, get a partner, toss the ball to her left and right. Getting good movement posture, that means get down low. Weight on the balls of your feet. Hips back. Back is straight. Here we move and face where we want the ball to go. We drop our hips to catch the ball. And then raise your hips to throw the ball to your partner. Once you're comfortable moving like this, now we're going to pass it twice. You move the same way, stop the ball on your platform, then raise your hips up into it, right like that. This helps to develop leg strength and flexibility. Whenever you're passing the volleyball, keep in mind that your platform needs to be firm. Once again, you drop your hips on first contact to get low, then raise your hips on the second contact to direct the ball to the target. Now we're ready to put it all together for a pass. Your partner tosses it to you left and right. You drop your hips in preparation for the ball, then raise your hips up into the ball, pass the ball to the target. Once again, weight should be on the balls of your feet like most every other drill in volleyball.
now that we've talked about body position, now we have to determine what kind of pass we're gonna be using and when. This depends on the server's speed and how fast the ball's coming over the net. Once you're in proper position, now I watch the server. I watch their arm speed. If the server's doing a jump serve and the ball's coming very hard, it's very important to get your arms out early and away from your body. If they're too close to you, the ball won't have any room. You can't cushion, you can't take any speed off the ball. The farther you are, your arms are away from your body, you're gonna be able to cushion, give a little in order to keep the ball on your side. Notice how I am here. Once I contact the ball, my arms are able to come into my body, taking some of that pace off the ball. Second, if you see a server come up and their hand contacts under the ball, most likely the ball's gonna drop a little shorter. It's very important on the short serve, you get your feet moving fast before the ball reaches the net to get in proper position. You wanna drop your hips, get your platform even, parallel to the floor, and lift with your legs. The closer you are to your target, the more parallel your arms are gonna to be to the floor. The third serve, and I think the most difficult one, is the ball that's gonna hit you high. It's one of those serves, line drive. You don't have enough time to move back to get it in proper position. You're gonna to have to meet the ball on a much higher level Arms, arm angle's gonna change a little bit. It's gonna be a little tighter to your body, but you're gonna have to go up and meet it. Maybe continue your motion back, but you're gonna have to go up and meet the ball. Learning some of these techniques requires practice, but don't forget that on sports school, you can stop rewind and pause these lessons as much as you want until you feel comfortable. You are in total control. All right, you feel pretty good about your passing? Now let's add in the elements of short and long. In this drill, you want your partner to toss the ball high and short. You start off with good movement posture. Move on the balls of your feet. Drop your hands down. Drop your hips down. Make your platform parallel with the ground. Then move your hips up into the ball. The short ball usually requires more of an up and down pass. You need to get under it and direct it to the target. Once you can handle the short serve or the short ball, then you're ready for the deep ball. This might be a little bit tougher. It's the same posture to start. Make sure to shuffle back with your feet. If the ball is still high when you get back there, lift your hips up into it. If you're able to get back early enough, you can drop your hips down and get into the ball there. Remember, the deeper the serve, the more angled your platform should be. You can't pass it straight up when you're on the back line. You need to direct it up to the net. Now, once you're good at this move, you can mix your tosses up. Some short, some deep. This way you have to read the ball just like you would on a real serve. Nice. Let's recap the keys to passing. The stance, medium stance, shoulder width apart. Hips back, knees over toes, shoulders over knees. Head up, back straight. Form a triangle between your shoulders and your hands to form the platform. Then using the whole body together, anchoring from the hips, hit through the ball. Remember to face your target, where you want the ball to go, not just where it's coming from. The basic mechanics are always the same, but you need to adjust to where the ball is played short balls, your platform is parallel to the ground and you're mostly hitting up. Medium balls, drop your arms about 50 degrees so you can hit the ball forward and up. For the high ball, use your lower body to come up to the ball and cut it off. Passing sets the tone for your offense, so good passing is an important start. <laughs>